everyone welcome to my channel this is your girl Sully Sims and if you're new welcome and if you're returning welcome back we are doing the next house in the let's rebuild Willow Creek this one is called 227 Rickshaw Avenue so that means guys we've done four lots already this is the fourth one we just have this one larger lot on the other side of this one and i'm still deciding what i'm going to do there i'm not quite sure i'm going to warn you from right now though that there are transitions in this build um simply because the build is a very long one and i tried to speed it up as fast as i could um without making myself and of course you guys out there <laughs> who do have motion sickness too dizzy and um I changed did some changes and the video was very long so I cut out some parts of it but um, while trying to keep the essence of the build itself I got this one as an inspiration picture actually on Pinterest and normally I would have had the little introductory video with the family but I opted out of it this time around simply because the video itself was already long I mean the intro is not overly long but I didn't want to add to that you know but I will put up a image right here of the family who lives here. And these are the Hallbrooks. Now, if you remember from my very first video with Cliff Pullman, he, I mentioned that he had this love. Her name was Alona. They used to be um, very close as um, children growing up. And they got into a relationship as they were... Um, teenagers like later teen years and they became involved when they were um teenagers into young adults but cliff pullman he had some issues where he started to drink he started to smoke i don't want to say he was abusive physically but maybe verbally he was very verbally and emotionally abusive to her and um they moved into this part of the neighborhood back when probably things were um, a little bit better. It wasn't as run down as it was now. They used to live together in that little one bedroom shack that um, Cliff had, is currently living in. So um, anyway, Alona left him when she met Al Holbrook, who actually lived... Um, a little higher up the lane i shouldn't say she when she met him maybe they reconnected they knew she knew of him because she knew of his parents who used to live in this house previously and then they and they started a friendship a tentative friendship and then eventually it grew into something more they they became involved with each other and um she got the courage for her to leave cliff and start life with al holbrook they eventually got married etc um, I'm interjecting hair from the story. Just want me to tell you quickly, I do change the look of the house in terms of the wallpapers, etc. I realized after when I stopped recording to go back in to the neighborhood, it looked really posh, the house. It looked like it belonged in a, a different neighborhood. And remember, this one is the kind of the rundown-ish type of neighborhood that I'm going for. So I had to do some reordering, restructuring <laughs> of the space. Um, so yes, so I had to do some restructuring of the space and I, I did, and you guys will see it. I think it's better suited and it goes with the storyline as well. When Alona was an adult, she had a daughter named Louise and Louise was always a troubled teen. Now I will tell you from now, Alona is a very proper miss. She, um, grew up, she knew about had times and whatever, but she taught herself to be to you know to just do a little bit better expect a little bit more etc so she's she has the proper treat and louise was just always a troublesome child she was mischievous she liked pranking and just doing little things to rebel at the strict type of nature that her mother um tried to impose on her she was just not having it so um so this house originally belonged to Al Holbrook's family. It was a one-story house with two bedrooms and one bath. However, since they've moved in and, well, they moved in, they took over, they renovated just the downstairs at first, and they had their child, 
Louise used to live with them. However, Louise being the troublesome rebel that she is, she eventually got pregnant as a teen. Her mother being the proper miss that she is, she was just not having it. She kicked her out against Al's best wishes. He did not want it to happen. He felt that they could have supported her, but Alona was adamant she's not going to be raising um, a, a teen who has a child, a teen parent. So they kicked her out. So Louise now has three children. She has Jack, who is a teen, who was the first child. She has Millie and she has Lottie. They're all with three. They all have three different fathers. She has not said who their fathers are. She spoke with, she's always been on good terms with her dad, Al. Louise has, I mean. And she spoke to him. She begged him a little bit. Eventually, he told her, you know what? Um, you can come back home. I will speak to your mom about it. I mean, she was living out in Oasis Springs. Um, she says that she's in sales, but it's all shady business, really, that she's handling. That's the the um the sales aspect of it she is in the criminal career um what makes this even a bit of a more tenuous situation is that her father is a sergeant in the police force both of them of course um alona and al are now elders he's close to being retired and alona makes her money um of of plopsy selling knitted stuff i just forgot to put that in there anyway They've moved back. She's moved back home. Relationship is strained between herself and her mother. The kids are not settling in very well. Jack, he was a jock. He at his old school. He was settling. He was, you know, doing great stuff. They've moved um, to a new neighborhood with new schools, new persons, and Jack isn't fitting in as well as he should. He's depressed a lot. He's always sad and crying. And um, he doesn't really have his own space. The, fun, the the money they made from selling off the stuff that they had, which is about $20,000 simoleons, um, they used to do the upstairs to add a second story so that there is space. Now, the house is not complete. There are still two rooms that need to be done. So basically, Jack is sharing the room with his twin sisters. And then um, his room and his mom's room, which is supposed to be upstairs, are not complete. You guys will see that in a little bit. What I did do, however, is um, I added a sunroom to the main bedroom, which you guys will see when we get to that part. And I'll explain that in a little while. So anyway, so he is always depressed. He's always sad. He's not fitting in too much, so much so to the point that he's dropped out of school no one knows that he has dropped out of school he just goes off every day pretending to be at school but he's not alona she picks up on something she loves her grandchildren she thinks that something is wrong she's trying to maybe make back build up that relationship with her daughter that she had so she's doing her very best to try to do that um with her the prodding of her husband who he is he's not well he's sick so he knows um i mean time is short etc he, he wants to make things happen between the two of them and settle things down the two girls millie and lottie they they get along but they fight a lot as well um they tend to be at each other's throats and just always fighting but it's between the two of them. They don't accept anybody else ribbing the other or anything of the sort. So basically, that is that is the storyline. Cliff, of course, is uh, an enemy <laughs> to the family. <laughs> he hates her <laughs> so intensely right now. But he also loves her so intensely as well. So things are a little bit awkward between the two of them. Um... He still has strong feelings for her, but he's re he's resentful of how well she's done for herself with Al. And so it's, it causes a lot of tension, of course. They are good friends, or rather, I shouldn't say good friends. They're starting to become good friends with the Nolans who live right next door and is kind of the buffer house between themselves and Cliff. Um, I mean, she has two... two twin daughters who often come over to play with um, Millie and Lottie and vice versa. They help out a lot. 
Alona is a very good cook, so she's always sending over meals, especially inviting them over for Sunday dinner. You know, all of these little things um, that they... That they, that they can get into now i've spoken for about 10 minutes now about the family let me get into the house so i saw this house like i said on pinterest and it had this sunroom and i was like not a sunroom i'm sorry a sleeping porch and i was wondering what was a sleeping porch guys i had absolutely no idea at all and it's just a place that some of the southern houses have during the summer months when it's really hot you can sleep in there instead so my thing is that um, they had converted it from um, Louise's old bedroom into that room, which is also Alona's craft room. But since Alona, um, since the girls came back or the children came back home, they've given Louise to sleep in that space. And um, yeah, so Louise is sleeping in that space and, and she only gets it when she's doing her um some of um, her crafting stuff um the bed the reason why i went this way for the bed bedroom the tw i figured that the twin girls would be sleeping in the double bed and i made this little bench like a window bench but i put like a um, a roll-up bed or bed roll for um jack to use for the meantime um he isn't happy about it like i said he 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 was used to having his own space um he knows that his mom is doing things that she shouldn't be doing that's a bit illegal and it's t tearing him apart because he really he likes to look out for the children but he 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 feels like he's just been uprooted and i think the the two younger children are settling in more they're more adaptable i guess you could say than um, the older brother Jack who has the trait from his grandmother as well he's a proper little man so yes so this is basically the family this is the history of the story behind them and um, and what we're trying to do here they do um, tend to go a lot to the diner down the road there is a laundromat although they do have um, the laundry stuff as well but because there is a diner down the road Jack tends to sit outside on the the bench in the back um on his way to school which he never attends anyway and i'm thinking of maybe doing like a tenement house on the lot next door and probably quite possibly putting in a couple of families in there and it's just just to see how it goes um it's not something that i've attempted before but i'm curious about it and um just finishing up with some some little additions to the house to make it look like the rooms are being under construct under construction or that the stuff is um being pulled in you know storage etc the backyard i didn't get to finish it online we're not online on camera but i did do screenshots so if you want to stick around and take a look at that you can let me know what you think of the backstory i really like it i'm actually tested this the whole house out and i was so tempted to continue playing with the family because i got so immersed in the storyline behind it um and everything just played out perfectly you can see that the relationship between mother and daughter is a bit tense but um that with the one she has with her father it's warm she's always hugging him um and stuff and uh the son is always crying jack is always sad he's always wanting to go in his bed and cry i did do a little um cinematic thing but i will just do that when i'm introducing um them on their own so you can have an idea of it so but yes so basically that is it and i did um spread around the the backyard stuff just a little bit <laughs> because it it, it needed it the backyard needed to be just a little bit unkempt uh there is a parking on the side for two two sets of vehicles which is the dad's vehicle and um, alona has been making her daughter louise use her vehicle in the meantime um to transport the children the younger ones to and from school because there's just this is just a little bit further away than jack's <laughs> And yes, yeah, so basically that's it. And here we are at the screenshots. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a little comment. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you again, guys, in my next video. Goodbye.